Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if an item's not found error or error code 0x800710FE if you're trying to delete a file or folder and it's not deleting properly. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that without too much of a hassle and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to this Major Geeks webpage here. It's the Unlocker tool and it's been downloaded quite frequently. I'm familiar with it. I've actually made a couple of tutorials about it. It's already been downloaded over one and a half million times. So we're going to go ahead, just head and just download the installer version. You can download other versions as well. So this is a safe download as much as it can be from a third party provider. But generally speaking, I feel comfortable using this on my own computer. So I don't see why I'd recommend something that I want to use myself. So anyway, we're going to give it a moment to begin the download. If not, you can click on this flashing button. So click here if it doesn't, but it looks like it will start downloading. It's only about three megabytes, so not a very big download here. And we'll just give it a moment here. And once it's done, you select the run option if you get a file security notice. So I guess. Don't worry if it's not digitally signed, not everything is digitally signed, so it's not a huge deal there. So it's going to ask uh, where do you want the program to be installed, doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to select the downloads folder. You can remove it later if you don't want it. Uh, we're going to decline the Avast antivirus package so you don't have to install any additional programs with it. I would recommend clicking on decline if you're just looking to focus specifically on the task at hand. Don't just keep clicking finish, finish, finish. Just don't keep clicking next because you think that none of it matters because it actually usually does. So anyway, we're going to select finish. Select install now. Select next. Accept the end user license terms. We're going to uncheck the add it to your bookmarks. We're going to create a desktop icon though. And then we're going to launch the unlocker tool. Select OK. And now we're going to select the Add button for a folder we want to unlock. And let's say this folder on our desktop is the one we want to unlock here. So we're going to go ahead and select Desktop. And then we're going to go select the item we want to unlock. And then select OK. And then select the Unlock button. And there you go. It should be simple as that. It should say Status Unlock Successful. Once it's done, you should be able to close out of here and then go ahead and open it, modify it, whatnot. And if you actually went back into the utility here, and let's say we selected that folder again, you have the ability to unlock and delete, unlock and rename, move and copy. So you have other options to work with there. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.